from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Previewing one of the most crowded elections in Henrico County this year and two local organizations earn health care grants. We'll tell you about those stories and others in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, July 21st, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, that race is in the Fairfield District, where five candidates are vying for the district seat on the Henrico County School Board. Current member Roscoe Cooper III is vacating his seat at the end of this year. He's running for the district seat on the Board of Supervisors, which is being vacated by longtime Supervisor Frank Thornton, who's retiring. Those running for the school board seat from the district include Keith Hicks, who lost to Cooper four years ago, Tommy LeVar Jefferson, Terrell Pollard, Crystal Parker, and Ryan Young. Hicks has been working in education for the past 10 years as a long-term substitute and student intervention liaison in Henrico. Jefferson is an Army veteran and entrepreneur and driving school teacher. Pollard is president of the Henrico NAACP and also serves as the Fairfield District representative on Henrico's Board of Zoning Appeals, in addition to being the chair of Henrico Too Smart to Start, a nonprofit that focuses on youth wellness. Crystal Parker is a Presbyterian minister and has served as financial educator for the Henrico Federal Credit Union. Young is a longtime youth basketball coach in the region and consultant at CoStar Commercial Real Estate. We've got in-depth profiles of each of these candidates right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com, so take a look. And just because it's summertime doesn't mean that school is out for every student in Henrico County. In fact, there are many who are attending various summer school programs in the county. And our new education reporter, Leanna Hardy, visited one of those programs earlier this week. She's got a full report about it. You'll want to find that later today on HenricoCitizen.com, so keep your eyes open for that article. Black slime, mold, and insect repellent. Probably not what you want to find on the menu at your local restaurant, but Henrico restaurants were cited for those violations in recent weeks. And today on HenricoCitizen.com, you can check out our weekly restaurant watch. It provides you with the latest Virginia Department of Health restaurant inspection reports from some of your favorite restaurants you'll want to take a look before you head out there this weekend and the virginia Healthcare foundation recently awarded 19 virginia organizations a total of two million dollars in grants to expand access to behavioral health medical and dental services two henrico oriented organizations were among the, the recipients safe harbor a nonprofit that provides shelter and support for those experiencing domestic violence, sexual abuse, or human trafficking, earned a $60,000 grant to help enhance behavioral health services. The grant will fund a full-time pre-licensee therapist to increase the facility's capacity to provide counseling services to adults and children. And the Richmond Henrico Health District also earned a grant of just shy of $66,000 to fund an outreach worker to help enroll or renew eligible residents in the city and Henrico in the Medicaid FAMIS health insurance programs. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County. Henrico County is now hiring. You can visit henrico.us backslash jobs to view a complete list of all opportunities, full and part-time, that are currently available. To learn more about Henrico's commitment to its employees in the Henrico way, Find out why Henrico Recreation and Parks Recreation Manager Adam Schwartz says, quote, no matter what your passion is, there's a place with the county for you, end quote. That's henrico.us backslash jobs.